this. The other things seem to be reasonable. The RPM limit, we can check how far we can go. Oh, yep. That was also good. Hello and welcome to the Dead Hungry Diner Zen Master's Guide. In this video we'll be showing you seven different ways to improve your score. First up we have an advanced usage of the teleport spell. If you're a player who's skilled enough to queue up several different actions before your character can get there, one of the techniques you can use is to press the teleport button when you have a sufficient amount of actions queued up. This means that your character will process the remaining actions that are in the queue in a very 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 quick manner, freeing up your mouse cursor to perform other actions while your character is processing the queue. The next tip we'll be looking at is how to use table swap to fix incorrect placements. It's a very simple idea but maybe not everyone has thought about using table swap on a table that doesn't actually have a character. So in this example we've placed a solo vampire at a two seater table. This can be easily fixed by just using the table swap to move the single vampire back to a single table freeing up the double table and ultimately preventing you from having the problem with the rest of the queue. Moving on to the third tip now we're going to talk about using placement patterns to avoid monsters breaking out into fights. So in this first example we can see that we've gone for a diagonal pattern. That means that the monsters that hate each other, such as the banshees hitting the ogres, are diagonally positioned from each other because the way the game works is that they'll only break out into fights if they're adjacent. In the second example we've gone for a slightly different approach. In this case we've used the zombies as a buffer to keep the hating parties apart from each other. This can be useful in certain levels, but it can be more restrictive than the diagonal approach. However, on the plus side, it is more simple to execute. The next tip we'll be looking at is how to maximize your patience spell by shuffling the queue around to suit your needs. In this example, you can see that both the angry zombies and the